for nine days and has been one foot in front of the other along country roads and interstate from Charlottesville to Washington, D.C. A 130 mile faith pilgrimage to the March on Washington. Every time I put my foot down, I thought I'm putting my foot down where this is enough. We've had enough. Faith leaders marched more than 100 miles to join the fight for racial justice on the March on Washington, a faith based journey of racial reckoning, resolve and love. It's a way of reckoning with our history, particularly for those of us who are Christians, for whom our tradition has not only been complicit in white supremacy. The group walked with repentance through blistering heat and sometimes uncomfortable encounters. A lot of insults, a lot of um, really kind of toxic kind of messages from folks down there who really took exception to our presence, particularly as whites uh, proclaiming Black Lives Matter. And once the pilgrimage ended at Black Lives Matter Plaza, the emotions began. You can read the names, you can see the numbers, but to see the faces one after another after another is just it's just overwhelming. With the Bible in hand, Tom Legrand from Greenville, South Carolina, expressed shame and regret for not doing enough. We just ignore that history in favor of a narrative that just isn't true for everybody. And how do we make it true for everybody? And I don't know what the answer is, but I know the answer is not to do what we're doing now. But with that shame, a glimmer of hope for what's to come from one faith leader to another. It kind of opens up hearts. Um, I, I'm a firm believer in if everybody just come to the table and just really talk about things, it could change a lot. Change that took place over the course of 130 miles, leading directly to the March on Washington. We owe them for giving us the opportunity to be encouraged and to walk this walk on their behalf, and it's about time we did.